let's talk solar. Hello world, wake me up to another good, good morning, time to go. Oh, we are all looking for adventure. 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 Good day everyone, Colin from the Baby Boomers. How are you? I hope everyone is staying safe. Now, um, going through Facebook and all the groups that I'm in, I noticed that there are a hell of a lot of questions with regards to solar. And, you know, I'm not an expert. This was one of the things that um, kind of, that I had anxieties about when I was fitting out the van. So I would just like to uh, run through what I have and try and give the most simplest of explanations of the terms. Now, like I say, I'm not an expert. And if you get really stuck, then I suggest you speak to someone that knows. I found um, the people at JCAR there in Australia, I, I found them really the most helpful uh, because it can be quite daunting. And the thing is you need to get it right with regards to cable lengths and fuses and all this sort of stuff. So this is it. Now, if you uh, find these videos useful and you would like to subscribe, see, please subscribe now and hit that notification bell. Um, um, over 90% of my viewers haven't subscribed so it's always great to build that community and uh, get a base of subscribers so here we go thanks for watching and if you have any questions please put them in the comments below if I don't know them I'm sure that someone who's watching this video is going to tell Colin you're talking out of your butt and you're wrong which uh, possibly I may be but um, please answer them or please question in the comments below. So I'm just going to explain the terminology uh, involved. And like I say, I'm not an expert. I found it hard to understand. So I'm going to break it down into its simplest form. Now, when it comes to the electrical system, we are faced with amps, volts and watts. So amps. Amps would be the volume of water flowing through a pipe. The pressure of that water would be the voltage. And watts is the power that the water would provide. Now what we have is a battery and batteries are rated at amp hours. So for instance, if we had a 100 amp hour battery and we had a kettle and that kettle, kettle was rated at 100 amps, in theory, that battery should last us one hour. Now, different types of batteries have different limits. So, for instance, uh, a deep cycle AGM battery, which is probably the most common uh, house battery, only you should only really take 50% out of it without causing the battery damage. So, I will leave batteries for someone else. I'm just going to really run through what I've got. Now, this is my battery setup. Under here, I have, and there in the first cab through the door under the lounge. And basically, in here, I have three times 110 amp AGM batteries. And they're, they're fitted in parallel. So, uh, basically, what that means is the all the pluses so each battery is connected by its plus terminal and each battery is connected by its negative terminal so that puts them in parallel and it basically triples the amount of power that you have 
Then also up here, I have a three times stro uh, three stroke six kilowatt inverter uh, that converts uh, 12 volt power to 240 volt mains power. So the mains power in Australia is 240 volt or 220, 220 to 240 volt. And basically it allows me to run things like the coffee machine and an electric kettle. Then at the back here, uh, just here, I have a 60 amp, sorry, an 80 amp solar controller. Uh, when I put this in, uh, it's an MMPT solar controller. So when I put this in, I wanted expansion. So just in case I wanted to add more solar panels. And they, it's just all a basic setup. And then just on the top here, I have a Bluetooth uh, power monitor and that connects to my phone and just tells me in a percentage how much power I have left in the batteries. Um, now, the batteries themselves are either charged by the solar panels, uh, which I'll run through in a second, or they're actually charged from the starter battery of the van, uh, which um, I don't have a DC to DC charger. All I do is I basically have a switch that's by the driver's side. Uh, and I'll show you a picture of that shortly. And the cable runs to the starter battery, which is under the passenger well of the passenger seat, the foot well of the passenger seat, which for me, I think works very well. So as we come round to the driver's side of the van, I'm just going to show you just down here. Uh, you'll see that there is that same red cable that comes from the main house battery. And this is uh, around on the off side of the van. So the driver's side of the van, I've basically just put a simple breaker switch in. So obviously, um, when we want to isolate the house batteries from the main starter battery, it's off. But then when we've got the engine running and we want to charge the house batteries, all I do is just turn, turn it on and there you go. When the engine's running, it just charges all of the batteries at the same time. Obviously you need to remember that when you stop, you obviously just need to turn it off, but hopefully there's enough charge uh, yeah, I've forgotten to do it a few times, switch it off, but um, it hasn't caused any issues. And I quite like this. It's very simple and I love the way it's working. So with regards to solar, I have a 300 watt solar panel on the roof. Um, it's a fixed panel. Uh, I spoke to someone who was telling me that the flexible panels still need ventilated underneath. So I went for the fixed panel. Uh, in addition, I have a 200 watt uh, solar blanket that I lay out when I need to just to top everything up, which is here. In addition to the solar panel that is on the roof, I also have this solar blanket. Yes, it has seen better days, but it's great for topping up. Uh, it was a 200, 200 watt solar blanket. Uh, I had to take one of the panels off because it had a crack in it. Uh, so just a bit of a make makeshift fix to it. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you found that video useful. Please subscribe and hit that notification bell to get updated of new videos. And I look forward to uh, getting the next video out to you. Please take care and we'll see you soon.